Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, uh, I'm, I'm making a video that I just didn't even plan to make because um, it's almost about 10 a. Oh, sorry, 10 p.m. I just got done praying. Um, I have a child who's not feeling well right now. I'm just praying over him. I'm praying over some things in my family, just praying over certain situations. And I was about to get ready to go to bed. And um, I looked on my local news and it was a story that just broke out of Panama. And let me get this phone. And the reason that I felt this was relevant to, you know, this channel is the article. The article itself, it says seven killed, 14 tortured in Panama exorcism terror ritual. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and, and just show you all the article. And then we'll talk about this um, as the video progresses. Okay, um, I have it pulled up here. Um, this is the news article for WEAR TV, which is um, a local news um, outlet here in my area. And as I was saying, it says seven killed, 14 tortured in Panama exorcism, a terror ritual. And it was posted on the 16th, which is today. So let's go ahead and read this article together and let's see if we can get to the bottom of this because. You know, a lot of things, a lot of um, news outlets like to report stories like this to try to paint Christians in a negative light. And it's been a while since somebody tried to paint Christianity in a negative light, saying that they're crazy or something, okay? All right, so it goes on to say, Panama City, seven people were killed in a bizarre religious ritual in the jungle community in Panama, in which indigenous residents were rounded up by 10 lay, preacher, uh, lay preachers and tortured, beaten, burned, and hacked with machetes to make them repent of their sins. Okay, can we stop right there for a second? This just says 10 preachers rounded up people, beaten them, they tortured them, they burned them, and they hacked them with machetes to make them repent of their sins. Now, these preachers are no preachers of God, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Nowhere in the Bible does it command us to be violent. Nowhere does it command us to be violent. And nowhere does it even command us to force anybody to repent of their sins. You can't force anyone to repent of their sins. That is an own, that is a personal conviction that you need to have on yourself between you and God when it comes to Christianity that, that there's no violence okay so these preachers are preachers of some cult some off spring um, offspring Catholicism mixed with mysticism who knows but it's definitely not the God of the Bible. But it goes on to say, police free 14 members of the uh, Nagbi uh, Boule in, <clears throat> excuse me, something in my throat. I'm endogenous group. So this is an endogenous group hmm. who have been tied up and beaten with wooden cultures and Bibles. So the moment they mention Bibles, is the moment that the mass majority of people are automatically going to start casting stones at Christians, okay? First of all, everyone who says that they're a Christian is not a Christian. Let's get that straight, okay? So let's go on and read. Um, on Thursday, local prosecutor Rafael Boyez uh, described the chilling scene that the investigators found that they made their way through the jungle clad hills in the remote um, Megabobby Bidil, hope I'm pronouncing that right, in Dodgers community near the Caribbean coast on Tuesday. 
um, alerted by the three villagers who escaped and made their way to their local hospital for treatment earlier. Police were prepared for something bad, but were still surprised by what they found at the provised, quote, church at a ranch. Now, any time you hear about a church being at some sort of remote area out in the jungle or the field or in the mountains, nine times out of ten, you're probably dealing with some sort of un- orthodox cult who tries to manipulate the scriptures to manipulate the people that they want to follow them which is exactly what the um the slave owners did to slaves manipulating the, the scriptures twisting the scriptures to create doctrines of devils and it goes on to say we're a little known religious sect known as the new light of God was operating. So here's another red flag. The new light of God. So what is the new light of God? I've never heard of the new light of God. There is no mention of the new light of God in the Bible. There's only the light. There's only Jesus Christ. There is no new light. That sounds more like an antichrist agenda, if you ask me. They were performing rituals inside the structure. In that ritual, there were people being held against their will, being mistreated, Boyaz said. Another, again, rituals? There are no rituals in Christianity, folks. This sounds satanic to me. All of the rites were aimed at killing them if they did not repent of their sins. That sounds like Islam. It said that there was a naked person, a woman, inside the building where investigators found machetes, knives, a ritual, and a ritual, ritual scar, <laughs> a ritually sacrificed goat. A goat. Hmm. Sounds like the goat of Mendez. Perhaps paying homage to Balfamet, the god of transformation. This is sounding very satanic to me, folks. The rites have been going on since Saturday and has already resulted in deaths. About two miles, two kilometers away from the church building, authorities found a freshly dug grave with corpse of six children and one adult. That's horrible. My God. The dead included five children as young as a year old, their pregnant mother, and a 17-year-old female neighbor. They searched this family out to hold a ritual, and they massacred them, mistreated them, killed them, practically the whole family, said Boyetas. Adding the one of the suspects in the killing is the grandfather of the children who were slain. So one of the suspects is the grandfather of of the children who were slain. It seems like this family was targeted. It seems like this grandfather sacrificed his family for something. He must have been a part of some something very demonic, something very evil, and he gave up his family. Blood sacrifices, folks, they go on. They really do. Apparently, the sect is related to the new area, is relatively to the is new to the area, and had only operating locally for about three years. But things came to head Saturday, when one of the church members had a vision. One of them said God had given them a message. Boy, yeah, it said the message apparently boiled down to making everyone repent or die. So, so God is, so God gave you a message to tell everyone to repent or die. Hmm. You know, I've never seen an instance in the Bible to where God gave a vision or a message to a prophet or anybody instructing them to tell people to repent or we're going to kill you. 
Mm. I don't want to butcher that word again. The the Nagave Bugla, I hope I pronounced that, are Panama's largest endogenous group. So the na that's the name of the group. And suffer from high rate of poverty and illiteracy. Poverty and illiteracy. So we're already dealing with some pretty, you know, messed up people, messed up in the head people. It was not clear what the belief or affiliation the New Light of God Church has. A well-established evangelical church known as Luis del Mundo said in a press statement that it has no ties to this case. Okay, so they, they, they're trying to say they don't know what the belief or the affiliation is, but it's saying the New Light of God. They're saying that they were in, there were Bibles involved. You know, I'm just trying to filter through all of this right now before people start getting the wrong idea because this has absolutely nothing to do with Christianity. This is completely satanic. The area is so remote that helicopters had to be used to ferry the injured to the hospital for treatment. That included at least two pregnant women and some children. Okay, so... This all took place in a ranch in the middle of nowhere, okay? A remote area to where people would not be able to get away so easily. An area to where it would be very hard to find help just in case something went down. An area to where people felt that they had no choice but to follow orders because maybe they were so far away from civilization that there was no point in trying to flee. So they basically trusted whoever was in this area to take care of them. And they clearly had other plans to sacrifice these people. This is a cult. This is a cult. This is not of God. Not, not my God, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The new light of God, church. Folks, there is no new light of God. There is no new vision. There's only Jesus Christ. When you hear something like this, when you hear names like the new light of God, the new this, the new that, uh-uh, I'm not buying it. But I wanted to make this video because there are some people out there who are already on the fence about you know Christianity and just and, and you may and you may look in the news every now and then and you may see where someone may have done something and they say well God made me do it um, I did it in the name of Jesus I killed these people I blew up this hospital because God gave me a dream God does not instruct us to kill God does not instruct us to do anything as if, as of, the Lord instructs us to love one another, care for one another. The first, the, the two great commandments that Jesus gave us, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Number two, love thy neighbor as thou love thyself. No killing, no sacrificing, no threatening for repenting of sins. This is ridiculous, folks. We are living in some dark, dark days, some really dark days. Okay, so you go ahead and, and, and do your research. Maybe a little bit more come out on the story. But I wanted to share this all with you all because it's it's ridiculous. You know, the times that we're living in, it's unfortunate that children had to die. Children had to die. People died because Satan is still at work. He's busy. You know, God is at work. He's always busy. But the enemy, he's at work too. Let's stay prayed up. Let's stay seeking God 24-7, folks. God bless you all. Have a great night.